morning world welcome to wednesday january 12th um pretty much no leg pain at all today so good news legs on the mend bad news is stinking cold instead <coughs> Why do they make these things so difficult to get into? Is it to stop kids from getting them out and swallowing them or, or, or something like that? Or is it just, you know, they do it on purpose? This is where I stab myself, isn't it? So, I've noticed over the last week, 10 days, that the key fob to open and close my car van um, I'm having to get closer and closer and closer to actually get the thing to work. So, did it go that way? Or did it go that way? Right, maybe that's the wrong tool. I'll go and get the right tool for the job. Hang on. I stole the wife's screwdriver set. She bought this as her kitchen screwdriver set in case she wanted to tighten something up or loosen something down but I seem to use it more than she does right then so that one there you go that's what we wanted now we've got to split you in half it might be easier to take it off the ring first it's not something you do very often I think this is probably second battery in what's the car uh, 2014 so we're in 22 now Six years, soon to be seven years. Where'd you come apart? There you go. Right. This is where a clever person sneaks up behind me and shakes bang, and I stab myself in the thumb, innit? There he is, like that. Put that back on there. That go in the battery bin. Hopefully, that'll work. Oh, Biscuit, you are a moody thing. It is a crisp and fresh one this morning. It was actually freezing fog first thing. Fog's just starting to get burnt off by the sun. Um, right, so that's a couple of hours. I'm going to be around here with the builders. Dave and Andy are back and it is time to start on things like paths and patios we put the drains in day before yesterday for the gutter but now it's time to sort this out oh, oh, oh. yes i've got heaters Right, we are off over to see the tree team, see how they're getting on over there. Apparently there's a few issues with the job. Um, someone's kicked off about um, some damage to the verge. Well, we haven't actually started yet, so it wasn't us. And apparently there's another team of people working on a driveway that's going to get in our way as well. So some stuff to sort out there. But first, I've got to go look at a job next door for a neighbour. Yeah, let's just get on with it. Apparently, we've got lorries coming to this house here, so we kind of need to crack on with this as quick as we can, really. Hmm. Maybe a bird's eye view.
Yeah. <laughs> well, your trousers, boy. You're a pair of braces. <laughs> we'll fill it out with sawdust. <laughs> oh, this doesn't look good down here, does it? Look at the state of it. <sighs> it's wet and greasy. Far from ideal. Okay. Right, so, so far, we've taken the end off of this fella here, the top off there as much as we can reach. Um, I'm not too worried about leave, uh, blocking the footpath up because the footpath is shut. Not that that stops some people. It's just this fella here. He's the whole main concern. Right. Right, go and calm down one of the neighbours now. We've got the blame for <laughs> something another contractor's doing. It's not even us. I won't go into detail. I should have been a diplomat. Uh, so, one of the neighbours isn't very happy uh, because the verge is getting chewed away, but it's not by us. It's by another contractor who's um, taking out lorry loads of um, soil. So, uh, um, but unfortunately, Mikey wasn't very good at explaining to the guy what was going on. <laughs> And, and the guy wasn't listening to him, so Mikey had to give up. Poor Mikey. Uh, but um, yeah, so I've spoken to the chap now. He knows that we're not responsible, and he knows that the finger of blame will be pointed somewhere else. Not at me. No. Oh, right. It is cold. Five degrees theater, quarter past 12. I would have stayed a bit longer with the guys, but if there was a 16 or 20 ton wagon coming down the lane, <coughs> I didn't really want to get stuck behind him, because apparently once he's in there, he's in there for maybe an hour or so, I didn't want to get stuck there. So, yeah, short visit. It is wet and tacky there, though. I think it's Laura's coming up and down, and us going in and out of tractors. I can see conflict. Not agro conflict, but just conflict on the timetable. Oh. 